The Weather Authority radar is very active, as you saw from that live picture a moment ago, and that's not good news if you're about to head out to the car. Uh, uh, Craig is using our Weather Authority technology to show you where the rain is coming down. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We do have a lot of steady rain out there. Thank you. The violence at the oceanfront today. The mayor will meet with the police chief. That's the latest development after several shootings, robberies, and stabbings as thousands of people packed the oceanfront over the weekend. Let's go live to 13 News reporter Carl Limer for the latest. Good morning, Carl. Hey, good morning, guys. All right, thanks, Carl, for that live report. Now, once the first shots were fired at the oceanfront, our Facebook page was lit up with comments and tips from you, the viewers. Yeah, here are some of what uh, you had to say. Debbie Brody Daniello said, No one should be shocked. It happens all the time down there, just on a smaller scale. And Robin Cantor Miller worried about the long term effects on the city. She posted, praying this was a very bad weekend and not a trend, not very attractive for families considering a vacation to our shores. Well, we want to continue to hear from you. Join our Facebook discussion right now. Just head to facebook.com slash WVEC 13. 506, now here's what's up next on 13 News Daybreak. Well, the man accused of sending rice in in a letter to President Obama is back in the news. We'll tell you what's happening with him today. And it's a messy start to the day. The rain is out there and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. I'll let you know how long the rain will last and we'll talk about rainfall potential across the region coming up. Still ahead on Daybreak. Amazing video of nature in action. We're going to show you more of this volcanic blast and let you know where it all happened. Stick around. You're watching Daybreak. Later today, the man charged with sending ricin to the president and several lawmakers is set to appear in court. Prosecutors charged James Everett Dusky with possessing and using a biological agent as a weapon. Dutschke is expected to appear in U.S. District Court in Oxford, Mississippi today. Last week, prosecutors dropped charges against another Mississippi man, Paul Kevin Curtis. In court before the charges were dropped, Curtis said he was being framed and named Dutschke as a potential suspect. There are new developments when it comes to the tension between North and South Korea. Today, South Korea is set to pull the last of its workers out of a factory complex run by the two nations. The complex is one of the few remaining symbols of cooperation between North and South Korea. But increasing tensions in recent months have caused the suspension of work at the complex, which houses some 120 South Korean companies. North Korean officials refused an offer by South Korea to hold talks about keeping the factory running. All right, check this out. Mother Nature putting on a big show and... It was caught on camera. Let's take a look. That's Mount Etna erupting in Italy. Look at that. Well, this is a rare sight for us. They're getting used to this out there. It's the 13th time it's erupted so far this year. We're not even into May yet. Explosions and fountains of lava were hundreds of feet high. Mount Etna, by the way, is the largest volcano in Europe. The eruption did not disturb operations at any nearby airports. That Imagine is something. Imagine seeing that from your house. You know, I see that orange volcanic eruption, and then every time I come over here to the desk, I see something else that is orange and volcanic. Watch my yourself. slippers. Can you show okay. the? Come on, kick one I off. I took my All shoes right. off this morning because it was raining. And this so is what I you wear, wear to be a, a damp, wet Monday morning. Only I in the building. That. All right, let's take a look out there. I love those. Thanks for calling me out, buddy. Do McMuffins for dinner sound good to you? If so, you may love a new idea from McDonald's. Or will it make you grimace? It's one of today's business headlines. Sorry about that. <laughs> ABC's John Muller is checking out America's good Money. I'm sorry. <laughs> good morning, topping America's Money. Up next on Daybreak at 5.30. Unfortunately, it is not a great day here in Hampton Roads as far as the weather is concerned. Rain is falling. Roads are wet. Yep. How much will the wet weather slow you down on the way to work? Stay tuned for weather and traffic with Craig and Ashley. We'll also have our top stories for you at 530, including more on the weekend violence at the oceanfront. Hear from people who were caught in the chaos and learn what action the mayor is taking today. That's in a live report. From your local news leader, this is 13 News Daybreak. All right, it's time to get up and get going, and it is a wet start, as you can see from our live sky view. Rain coming down across the area. I'm Vanessa Coria. Glad you're waking up with us. And on the south bank, you know the timing really mm -hmm. is not good at all. It's the morning ride, and yeah. it's going to affect you right when all of you are about to head off to work. Let's head over to meteorologist Craig Moeller and find out uh, what we're watching on the radar and how long it's going to stick around. Good morning, sir. It is a mess out there, guys. Rain is falling. Some people posted on our Facebook page that the violence over the weekend reminded them of something that happened back in 1989, the Greek Fest riots. 
back up. Don't get it away, cameraman. Back. There were scores of arrests during the riots. There was looting. A private security guard, or rather private security guard, shot two people. About 20 police officers were injured. It all happened on Labor Day weekend back in 1989. These images hurt Virginia Beach's family-friendly reputation at the time. In fact, the city reportedly lost $6 million in tourism the first nine months after those riots. We have a list detailing all of the crimes that occurred Saturday night at the oceanfront into Sunday morning. You'll find a timeline story on WVEC.com. We'll also be sure to post any updates as they come in on this developing story. Mm -hmm. 550, 536, excuse me, 536, everybody. Still ahead on 13 News Daybreak, the alleged Boston Marathon bombers back in the news. The mother of the suspects is drawing increased attention after U.S. officials say Russian authorities intercepted her phone calls with her son. More on those conversations as Daybreak continues. Plus, New York State lawmakers propose raising the age for tobacco purchases. Stick around and see if you think this is a good idea. Still ahead on Daybreak for you. The big milestone that could happen today in the construction of the new World Trade Center building. Stick with us. You're watching 13 News Daybreak. It's beautiful, isn't it? Welcome back, everyone. Right now, Hampton police are searching for a shooting suspect. They tell us the shooting happened just before 2 a.m. at Tide Mill Cafe yesterday. That's on North Armistead Avenue. Investigators actually tell us two people were shot. The good news is they should recover. Now, police say this is the man they are looking for right now. Take a look at your screens. Javon Carroll. If you see him, call the crime line. That number is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. And there are new developments to tell you about with the investigation into the bombings in Boston. Key lawmakers believe the Boston Marathon bombing suspects received some outside training. Investigators are looking into whether there's anyone who may have helped with the bomb's design. The mother of the bombing suspects is drawing increased attention herself after U.S. investigators say... Russian authorities intercepted her phone calls, including one in which she vaguely discussed jihad with one of her sons. Russian-born Zubidat Sarnayeva says she's no terrorist, just someone who found a deeper spirituality. It could be a crazy scene in front of the courthouse today as the wrongful death lawsuit between Michael Jackson's family and concert organizer AEG Live begins in L.A. We're told testimony could take months. The lawsuit claims AEG is liable for Michael Jackson's death because the company hired and failed to supervise Dr. Conrad Murray. Murray is serving a four-year sentence for involuntary manslaughter in connection with Michael Jackson's death. The King of Pop died because of an overdose of propofol. AEG denies hiring Dr. Murray or that they were negligent. Some state lawmakers in New York are introducing a bill to raise the legal age to buy tobacco products from 18 to 21. A proposal to raise the legal age to buy cigarettes from 18 to 21 was introduced in New York City Council last week. And now some state lawmakers are following suit. A state senator and state assemblywoman announced the statewide bill at a news conference over the weekend. The city council speaker, who's running for mayor, was also there, and she said raising the age to buy tobacco in the city could cut smoking among 18 to 20-year-olds by more than 50 percent. President Obama is expected to announce his choice for transportation secretary today. Sources say Charlotte, North Carolina Mayor Anthony Fox is President Obama's choice to replace Ray LaHood. LaHood has said he would not serve a second term but will remain in his post until his successor is found. Anthony Fox was elected in 2009 and helped lead the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte last year. Fox would be the first African-American cabinet nominee of President Obama's second term. This is a symbol of America's strength to rebuild and rebound. This morning, the final two sections of a 408-foot spire on one World Trade Center will be installed, making it the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Take a look. I want to give you a live picture of the Big Apple right now. Isn't that gorgeous? going to take place, uh, weather permitting up there. The spire pieces plus a steel beacon will then be lifted at a later date, giving the building the iconic height of 1,776 feet. 1,776, that number ring a bell, guys, mm -hmm. in American history? There you go. Very That's cool. great, huh? Just looking at that is inspiring. Have you been to the World Trade Center? Have you been to the 9-11? I was actually at Ground Zero oh. before they started rebuilding. Um, and so it's, it's an emotional place to visit. It sure is. It takes your breath away, too.
Fantastic. 549. Fantastic does not describe today's weather, folks. <laughs> Still ahead here on Daybreak. 50 million customers were impacted by a cyber attack. Stick around to find out which site was hacked. That's in Tech News next.